Hello, people of the internet! My name is Johnny, welcome back to yet another FNAF News video, and we got a whole bunch of very exciting stuff to talk about today. A brand new plushy wave from U2's just got announced with a whole bunch of amazing characters. The FNAF movie has gotten some pretty big updates, Scott responding to the leaked trailer, a poster coming soon. And finally, after so, so much time of waiting, an official Ruined DLC teaser has just been released. So let's not waste any more time, if you are excited for for all the news, don't forget to scroll down, tickle that subscribe button if you haven't already. And of course, before we move on to the main heavy hitters, we got a few smaller topics to talk about first. First up, we got a brand new security breach shirt coming from Hot Topic. It's got a tie-dye wash design with a large graphic of a trading card showing Glamrock Freddy with the text, Are You Ready? printed on the back for some reason, I guess. I honestly really enjoy the art of Glamrock Freddy on the front, though the rest of it is a little weird. I don't know why it's a trading card. I don't know why the text Next, Are You Ready is just randomly on the back in pretty basic font. Yeah, brand new shirt from Hot Topic, let's move on. Next up, we got the Five Nights at Freddy's Ticket to Fun Ephemera Kit. I still don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, I don't know what that means, but unfortunately, this kit has been delayed by almost a full year, actually. Originally, it was supposed to come out October 17th, but it's since been delayed to August 6th of 2024. And if you don't know what this kit is, it's basically, it appears to be an activity guide with a whole bunch of in-universe items and merchandise from Freddy Fazbear's Pizza for fans to solve. Whole bunch of puzzles, I'm assuming a whole bunch of lore, maybe that's why it got delayed. Going from October 2023 to August of 2024 is a massive delay, so hopefully they're cooking up something extra special with this kit. Moving on now to U2s, we technically have a brand new Foxy U2s releasing pretty soon, and that is Foxy Fusion Z Gamer Edition, the official second figure for fellow FNAF tuber Fusion Z Gamer. This one looks a lot more like his official profile picture, he uses across YouTube and Twitter and all his social medias. And because it resembles Foxy so much, he actually got this officially licensed from Scott himself. It has copyright Scott Cawthon on the bottom. So I mean, technically, once again, an official Foxy YouTube is coming out pretty soon. I think it looks absolutely amazing. It comes out May 16th for only two weeks. And speaking of YouTube's, also on May 16th for two weeks only, they're releasing a brand new wave of plushies. Doesn't seem like this has a certain theme with this wave, but it has entered the mangle, helpy, glitch trap, and Circus Baby. All of these plushies, I'd say, look absolutely fantastic. I'm especially a fan of that Mangle and Glitchtrap plushie. They both just look so accurate to what the characters look like, especially Mangle. They knocked it out of the park with that one. It was actually designed by community member Spooky the Kitty, so huge shout out to them for making such an amazing design. Next up, we of course got to talk about the brand new update that Security Breach TV just received today. You may remember not too long ago, an update for the site was actually leaked. Seems like Steel Wool was trying to update it privately but accidentally it got showed off to the public so we knew something was coming and lo and behold this is what the site looks like today as you can see it is the camera display monitor and there's a whole bunch of uh, creepy text we're going to go over if you want more information and speculation on what this device exactly is for the ruined dlc i made a whole video about it again it'll be linked down below but just going through there's a few secret texts we've got to look at such as something is coming something is near of course referring to the fnaf dlc ruin for security breach coming out this year it's going to be very exciting. We got two links to Steel Wool's Twitter and YouTube pages. Now, interestingly enough, these links are mirrored, very similar to a feature we see in one of the Princess Quest mini games. I saw a lot of people speculating about that. As of right now, it doesn't seem like any video or GIF or some form of media is playing in the monitor right now. But just like Security Breach TV was originally, I'd assume this is going to be updated bi-weekly or maybe even weekly in this case. Probably with a few more teaser videos to show off brand new characters and settings and stuff like that for the DLC. Exactly what Freddy and Friends on Tour did for the main game for Security Breach. It's going to be very exciting, so definitely subscribe to the channel just in case this does update. You definitely don't want to miss out on that. And now let's finish this video off by talking about, of course, the upcoming FNAF movie being made by Blumhouse and Universal. Now you may remember, unfortunately, pretty recently, one of the trailers for the upcoming film got leaked online, and later on in the day, Scott Cawthon actually responded to the leaked trailer, so let's go over that quickly. I wanted to to comment on this before the end of the day. I got emails about this early in the day, but was at an amusement park with my kids and was unable to see what had happened. I tried to ignore it and enjoy my day, but I was really, really disheartened. I know that Blumhouse and Universal, and me too, have all worked very hard to make something really exciting to share, so the thought of a first look being spoiled was frustrating, and I was really dreading coming home to see what all had happened while I was away. To my surprise though, I got home and I found a lot of YouTube channels refusing to do videos
videos on it. Twitter channels refusing to repost it, countless members refusing to watch it, and moderators taking a stand against allowing discussions on it. It's really difficult, if not impossible, to prevent people from trying to spoil things for everyone else, but it was really encouraging to see the fan base pull together and push back against it. For those of you who resisted watching it, I think you'll be much happier when you see a finished product that is edited and polished with VFX and proper sounds. So, to the fan base and to all of the Twitter accounts, YouTube channels, moderators, and other people who push back against this, thank you. I started my day at humanity, negative one, but ended the day at humanity, plus 100. Speaking like a true Redditor at the end of that comment, Scott, but yeah, basically the comment was pretty uplifting, more so just thanking the fans for not watching the leaked trailer, which is totally understandable. Something I do want to point out is that apparently, according to Scott, they're still actively working on the trailer trailer, working on VFX, working on proper sounds. So even what was shown in that leaked trailer isn't even the final product, which is insane. Moving on now, because we do have other forms of marketing we gotta talk about with the upcoming film, specifically a poster coming soon, because recently the FNAF movie was added to Blumhouse's official site for their upcoming films. Not much new information, just the title, release date, the actors and actresses starring in the film, of course Emma Tammy, the director, the people who wrote the scripts. Though, off to the left side, you can of course see a poster coming soon template. Now honestly, it's a little unclear whether or not we should take this as official confirmation. Again, it might just be a placeholder until an official poster actually does release. But I still think it's a pretty interesting thing to note because, I mean, Frankly, we're kind of due for a poster at this point, you know? So hopefully we can get that pretty soon, but it also might release a bit sooner than we might expect. Because it might be releasing with the first teaser trailer set to release literally any day now. Because the first teaser trailer, set to be only 53 seconds long, just got rated 14A in Canada, meaning it's suitable for viewers uh, 14 and over. It just got rated today, as you can see, May 15th from the screenshot. So quite frankly, it could release at any point, I'd say, within this week or next week. It's definitely coming very soon. Earlier today, we did just get the final trailer for Universal's upcoming film, Fast X. So hopefully pretty soon they're going to be releasing this teaser trailer, which like I said, I know it's not a full length trailer like the one we got leaked, but at least it'll give us something to chew on, you know? But that is going to do it for all the FNAF news today. Tell me what are your thoughts on all the FNAF movie news, the brand new Ruin DLC update. Are you going to be copping some of the new plushies from U2s? Everything I'd love to know your thoughts on in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.